Hey, what's up? This is your boy D, and I'm going to show you, I think, two things today. First, I'm going to show you how to use the Beat Thing virtual sound packs from BKE and into your um, MPC Studio or Renaissance. Um, it's really easy if you bought sound packs from them. Uh, so check it out. So first, you're going to, um, I'm going to use a folder that I'm not using, so I use, I'm going to use folder three. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct my folder to those sound packs. I'm using a Mac, so this is on a Mac. If you're on a PC, direct it to where it's at on a PC where I'm about to show you. All right, so you're going to go to three, and I'm going to I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to go to my hard drive, and then I'm going to go to user. Then I'm going to go to shared. Then I'm going to go to this folder called Sim Beat Thing. That's where all the sound packs are at on your Mac. So inside of here are your sound packs from BKE, uh, you know, the thing Virtual. So I'm, and they they have really good sound packs. Like that's one thing that they didn't they didn't fault on. The sound packs are ridiculous. They sound great. Drums, everything. Um, so let, I'm going to one. I'm going to this Laylaw one. This Laylaw. You got to go into there. Go into Laylaw. Then you, what you want to do is you're going to be going into the sample folder. Um, actually, put it on sample as well, right up here. Um, the reason why you're going in the sample folder because these are not these are these other folders are actually set up for the beat thing virtual. So if I were to go into drum kits, there'd be nothing there. You'd have to go into the sample folder because this is where all the sounds are held. So you go into sample folder, go into this one's called most dangerous or whatever, and see how they're organized. They're organized really well. So what I usually do is I like, you know, as a producer, you should be putting your sound, you know, your sound kits together anyway, your sound packs together anyway. So what I do is I go to like, first I go to kicks. I go to my kicks, I go to all the kicks right here. So there's some kicks in there. And what I do is I usually take like eight of them. Like, let me, I'm going to take this first eight. So I'm highlight this first one. I'm going to hold down shift and click on up to where it says eight. So now I got eight of them. And I'm going to just drag that whole thing right over to there just to fill my first eight pads up with kicks and then I back out right here which is right here back out and I'm gonna go to um, snares I go to snares and I'm gonna just grab that first eight of snares right here highlight that one hold shift down grab it to where it says eight so now now this is just real quick like you can you don't have to do eight kicks you can listen to the kicks and drag one at a time over if you want but I just want to do this to have this first eight pads with kicks this first eight pads with the second pads with snares you know so let me put on full level all right so and then you know you can go in and make you know go in and make your beat and, and what sometimes i like to do that because say if i'm using this drum say if i'm using that or say if i'm using that drum and the snare so I'm gonna show you something. All right, so check this out. So if I make a beat, I'm like this. Now say, say I know that snare is there. Now say if I'm like, damn, I like the pattern, but I want to change that snare up. So I can go to another snare. I can go to another snare and just drag another snare over. And I can keep the beat playing, like, drag another snare over. So say if I'm saying, oh yeah, I'm digging that snare. And you can do the same thing with the kick. You know, drag another kick over if you want. You know, you can layer also. So say if I say, all right, I like that snare and I, like, I want to put this other snare in there. I can go highlight this other snare, hold shift down, and drag it over. Now once I drag it over, I can drop it. So now I got both snares on that one pad without having to stop or anything like that. That's if you want it like that. And of course you can go in and turn down each individual one. And, I'm, and how you do that is you just go to program edit. You go to program edit right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, you, you go to that, you go to that snare right there. You go to that snare and then you see it layered right here. So I can turn one down. If I wanna turn one down, 
and that's how you go to, you know, using the computer, that's how you would go to, you know, to that, to that one here, the main, all right, so that's how you use the beat thing, sound packs with the, uh, the MPC, now I'm going to show you something also, all right, some of you guys just, um, you know, when you updated to the 1.4, I know we're on the 1.5 right now, but when we were on the 1.4, when you updated to 1.4 and it went to 64-bit, some of your plugins might not have worked. That's because some of your plugins might be 32-bit. So you got to also remember, if you make a beat with 32-bit plugins and then you start your computer up and it's in, you start the NPC software up and it's in 64-bit, your v, your 32-bit VSTs will not show up. And I'm going to show you an example of that. Let me hit new right here. Um, new project. Don't save. All right, so I'm going to come over to the NPC. I'm going to go down to um, to type. I'm going to go from drum. I'm going to go to plug-in. Now, I just want to show you. And I'm going to show you on the computer. All right, so I'm at plug-in, and I say I want to add a new plug-in. Um, I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. So I want to add a new plugin. I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to go to VST. That's where some of my plugins are at. Now, you see it has there, but there's one plugin that's a 32 bit that I have. And it's the Beat Thing. It's the Beat Thing Virtual software, which is only 32 bit. So it's not going to show up because right now my MPC is running in 64 bit. So I'm going to show you how to make it show up. So I'm gonna come out of here, close, and I'm gonna shut down the MPC. I'm gonna quit it. Don't save. All right. So now I'm gonna show you how to start it up in 32-bit, so your 32-bit plugins will show up. So I'm gonna go into. I'm just go here, and I'm gonna go into my applications folder. Once I'm in my applications folder, I look for the MPC um, program right here. I'm gonna just click it one time, or you can right-click it with your mouse, and then go to go up here and then go to get info now once you go to get info you'll see open in 32-bit mode so once you click that you can close that down and now you can open the MPC software right from there now like I said it's opening it's in 32-bit mode now so now if I go if I go to plug from drum to plug in and I come over here and I go to that plugin, I go to the same VST file we read before. Now you see the beat thing. So now I can I can click on the beat thing and I can load it up. Alright? So once the beat thing is loaded up, of course, if you hit this right here, you can see it up there. And you can, you know, you can play it from here, or you can, you know. Hear it? So, so that's how you use the beat thing in use the beat thing in a plugin or your 32-bit plugins on your MPC software. Now, don't forget if you made you know if you made beats with the 64-bit to come back you know to go back out and to load it you know to take that off. So you want to go back to it and you know go to get info and take it off a 32-bit mode. So it won't keep starting up in 32-bit mode if you have 60 you know. The 64-bit plugins will show up though, but in 32-bit mode. But you want to make sure that your 32-bit show up in the 64-bit mode. So now I can start it regular and it's back to 64-bit. Um, that's it for today. It's your boy D. If you have any questions or you confuse a little bit, please let me know, and I'll help you out. Peace. I'm out.